we didn't want to just do a funny show. We wanted to do the funniest show imaginable, but we've actually added songs and we've added five monologues. Each actor has a monologue that we hope is touching that actually points out the connection between humor and something serious in real life. The original title was Old Presbyterians Telling Jokes, and we had zero advanced ticket sales, and then we changed it to Old right, Jews, yeah. and the ticket sales just zoomed. Is this you, Old Jew Telling Joke? Well, it's one it's old... Jew telling joke. Thank you, that's kind of you. Yes, yes. No, it's me. It's me, and, and if I'm not there yet, I'm on my way. Basically, we went, Old Jews Tell Jokes because... Life is hard. Basically, life sucks. You got to laugh at everything. The narrated joke that you may have heard before suddenly takes on a totally different nature and color because our actors are so damn funny as they turn it into something else. Who do you consider your comedy influences? My dad. Really? Yeah, my dad uh, liked to tell jokes and had very good timing. He also was a very good singer. He had a lovely voice, but he was always just a little flat which I also try to emulate. My mother was very funny. Don't ride a bike, you'll break your poopy. Don't tap dance, your fat will shake. I don't know if I have it, but I think there's definitely an art to telling a joke, and this usually has to do with timing. But also it has to do with the context of the joke and what you're really talking about. Some of them are very witty, some are dirty, some are, let's see, uh, scatological. Sometimes people think jokes are just jokes and everybody can tell a joke and of course everybody can but everybody can also sing in the shower and it doesn't sound like Pavarotti. I didn't realize just how much joke telling was sort of a part of Jewish culture and uh, it's just been ex incredibly exciting you know learning from Marilyn, learning from Lenny and, and uh, Dan. It's a wonderful wonderful process and a terrific company of good looking people. <laughs> Very good looking people. Smell good, taste good. There's been some snorting. I don't snort very often, but I've laughed so hard that there's been some snorting and snotting. We're going to have kind of an old audience, and we were fear fearful of strokes. <laughs> so we thought if we had these monologues, there would be a moment when people could recover. You can't go <laughs> the whole time, you know. It's sort of like a Hebraic laugh in this show, you know, without Nixon. Do you think you guys will be able to keep a straight face once you've got a audience in front of you? I hope so. <laughs> That's a big fear that I have. I hope so. Now, some of the jokes now we've heard so many times that I can't imagine we won't, but if people give a little twist to them differently one night or if there's an unusual response from the audience, it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> so that I'll have to get back to you once. The, the thing that I love about this show is that uh, although the, the cultural tradition that produced all this humor is very specific, there's a great universality about it and a humanity about it. Was there a joke that maybe you wanted to bring to the table, something from, from your repertoire, your background, that you thought might make a good addition to this piece? Yes. <laughs> what, you you want it? Tell it to me? You want it? Okay. Let's see. I think it's okay if I tell you. Okay, it's Poland, the little town. There's a the guy there. He's an utter schlemiel. Nothing good ever happens to him, but he's used to it. One morning, he's having breakfast, and, and his bread falls on the floor, butter side up. He's confounded. He's disturbed. He doesn't understand. So he goes to the rabbi and, and explains what happened. And he said, tell me the meaning, rabbi. Rabbi says, come back in a week. I will tell you the meaning. So the guy goes away, agitates for a whole week, very, very upset, goes back. The rabbi says, you butted the wrong side. <laughs> Don't you think that's good? I love it. <laughs>